from the Bible, from the Jesus to the hundred years, you'll not find a single manuscript. I like we, how you're saying we have, the Bible, as if the Bible is any trustworthy. No, I'm telling you the other as, counter. As if there's any trust to the Bible. Well, it's whether trust or not, the important thing is about the preservation. Both the, both the books, the Bible and the Quran, claims to be preserved. the people who, have, who, who actually believe in them, yeah, they claim yeah, that yeah. it's from God. Yes. So I'm telling you that the Quran, unlike the Old Testament and the New Testament, have something from the person to whom it was revealed within a few decades. For, forget about a few hundred years. Now, listen, listen to this. A book like the Old Testament, between Moses and the earliest extant manuscript, you have like 1,000 to 1,100 years gap. And between Jesus and the earliest extant manuscript of the, of the New Testament, you're talking about more than 150 to 200 years. And even that, the early ones are just fragments. Here we are talking about the entire Quran in the Topkapi Museum uh, uh, manuscript itself. You're talking, uh, uh, yeah, and the Sana manuscript. Uh, in Sana yeah. Okay, you sure. gave me lots of information. Yeah, yeah. You say that the things written in the Quran in your history that yeah. you are claiming that really happened. No, no, only the Quran. I didn't say history. Are the absolute. I said the Quran and the Hadith. At least the Sahih Hadith. The we we have. I do not claim that what I say is absolutely certain. Yeah, but you, you don't do claim, claim you exist absolutely. You do claim that what you're saying. <laughs> Paolo, you don't claim certain. anything absolute. I have told you many times. You don't claim anything yeah, absolute. No, 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 Am I right? No, no, Hashim, Am I right? Hashim, when I told you I'm not certain of my existence again, yes. again, because you seem it seemed to be hard to understand for you to understand. Yeah, comes a Understand why? I understand why yes. because you're a religious person. For you, your knowledge is absolute. Now. The perception of my existence is not absolute. Which is what my I said. My sight is not absolute. Which is my what I said. My are not absolute. How is that Stop hominem? interrupting me, Hashim. But how is that I, I, I agree with you. Be civil. Okay, go on. Now, my perception of myself is not the same as your perception of me. And my perception of you is not the same as your perception of yourself. Okay. And every single person here has a different perception of different people. Now, what does this mean? It all de my existence depends on my perception. What I told you is that all I have is perception of myself, yes. based on my feelings, based on my knowledge, based on my past. That is why I am not certain of my existence as I see it now. Do you understand it, Hashim? No need to I shout. Explain no need to get condescending. Okay, by the way, from what I said to you, how is that different? I said, it's completely different. I said, based on your understanding, you're not even sure if you exist. That is what I said. If you if you are not going to believe in God until you go to your grave, you'll be hyper skeptical, and you'll not have peace in your mind. Nothing wrong with that. There will be after you open your eyes. I'm looking for peace. I'm looking for peace. I'm looking for better knowledge, and that is why you will never understand because you don't understand the the main thing about what I'm saying, which is. Uncertain truths will always triumph over certain lies. You tell it, uncertain, uncertain truths. truths. How can it be? Always triumph. Over How do you know the uncertainty is the truth? The fact that that itself is a paradox. I'm telling you if something is uncertain, why I will never be able to prove anything okay. to you. You know that is. You deny if, yourself the knowledge of uncertainty. If I was going the to possibility of improving your point no, of view. No, no. I have no problem improving my knowledge. Yourself. In fact, in Islam, we are not restricted upon improving our knowledge. And that is the reason the early Muslims, when they actually went in the path of finding different, exploring science and geography, and many other things about astronomy, that is not something, in fact, the deen, the Quran, and the teaching of Islam was what propelled them in these sciences, on the contrary to what you just said. So a person who is uncertain, they cannot come to a certainty that this is the truth. Okay, so like Paulo here, he's not certain whether he exists. I know I keep bringing the fact this, that I'm but this certain <laughs> makes me have much more knowledge than your false certainty. Well, how your do you feeling of false certainty is your is, is your thinking. Paradox. You understand all the world. How do you well, know it's you false? Don't. How do you know it's false? Because your feelings are flawed. No, no. Your how do you know it's false? I'm flawed. asking you the certainty. I have. How do you know it's false? Are you a man? Yes. Are you a man? Yes. Are you certain? No. <laughs> <laughs>